Okay, good morning, Veritas All-Stars. It is the lesson for April 10th, 2020. So this is the one that we're solving right now about me buying juice and soda for a party. We're gonna go over that in a moment. These are the problems I'd like you to try today and we'll go over these on Monday, April 13th. Be extra careful with these. Check, maybe draw a model to help you with number one. Um, and just be extra careful with those. All right, do your best and we'll talk to you on Monday about those. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna get a whole blank paper so I got plenty of space. Got my red pen because it's written in black. So here we go. Number one, there's parts A, B, and C. Mr. Spracklin bought five two liter bottles of juice for a party. He also bought 9,000 ml, which are milliliters of soda for the party. Part A, did he buy more juice or soda? So we're gonna compare the juice to the soda. How much more did he buy in liters? Using your answer from part A. So we need this answer to help us with this one. And C, what's the total volume of juice and soda he bought? So we're gonna combine the juice and the soda, but this time it wants it in milliliters. So for this one, we wanna put our answer in liters. So I'm actually gonna put an L there now to make sure that my answer was liters and not milliliters. And for this one, I'm gonna put ML right there because this answer needs to be in milliliters, not liters. So that's a way to kind of set yourself up for success as we start. Our answer has to be milliliters, so we'll put that right there right then. That way, if you put a liter answer, you might catch yourself. Same thing here, we're gonna put an L to stand for liters. Okay, so let's go back to the problem. Did I buy more juice or soda? So let's see, Mr. Spracklin bought five two liter bottles of juice. So five, two liters, right? If I had a two liter times five, two times five is 10 liters of juice. Okay, five, two liters. So each of those five has two liters. So five times two is 10 liters of juice. He also bought 9,000 milliliters of soda. Okay. So this is something that you're gonna to need to know. They don't tell you this on the MCAS test, but let's see. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters, okay? Or one milliliter is one one thousandth of a liter. So one liter has a thousand milliliters. So milliliters are very, very small. And one mil milliliter is one thousandth of a liter. It's gonna take a thousand of milliliters to make one liter, okay? So 9,000 milliliters, if 1,000 milliliters makes one liter, that means 9,000 milliliters makes nine liters. So this is nine liters of soda, okay? Every thousand milliliters makes one liter. So 9,000 milliliters is nine liters. So we have 10 liters of juice or nine liters of soda. Did I buy more juice or soda? I bought more juice, 10 liters compared to nine liters. So the answer is juice. I bought more juice than I did soda. Good thing, so it's not good for you. Part B, how much more did he buy in liters using your answer from part A? So I already put an L here to make sure that it's liters. So right now we already have our answer from part A. I bought more juice. How many more liters is 10 compared to nine? It is one more liter. One liter more. Okay, for that one, we just did 10 liters of juice minus nine liters of soda. 10 minus nine is one. Okay, and part C. Uh, hey Jojo, that's distracting me a little bit. Do you think you could? I'm trying to think. Yeah, there you go, great job. What's the total volume of juice and soda? So volume is just the amount, that, amount of liquid that we have, the total amount of liquid in this situation. Okay, so don't let that confuse you. I know we did a lot of volume work where we did length times width times height, but that's trying to find the volume of a rectangular prism. We're not actually doing that here. Volume is just the amount of um, liquid that we have. 
Okay, so what's the total amount of liquid that we have of juice and soda in milliliters? So this time, we could have said 19 liters. That's the total. 10 plus 9 is 19 liters. So how many milliliters is that? Okay, so let's go back to 9 liters is 9,000 milliliters of soda. So now if we had 10 liters of juice, if one liter is 1,000 milliliters, then 10 liters is going to be 10 times 1,000 milliliters. It's 10,000 milliliters. So 10 liters is 10,000 milliliters of juice. Now it says, what's the total? So we're going to add the soda plus the juice. So I'm going to rewrite these so that our place values are directly on top of each other. 9,000 or 10,000 plus 9,000. Make sure the 9 is in the 1,000s place, right? Right underneath the 0 there. And we are adding to find the total volume. So 10,000 plus 9,000, 0, 1, 0, 10, 0, hundreds, 9,000 and 1, 10,000. So that makes 19,000 milliliters. It asked us for our answer in milliliters, so 19,000 milliliters is the correct answer. Okay, great job. Give yourself some snaps if you got those. Those were tricky. The reason those were especially tricky was if you didn't know this, that one liter is 1,000 milliliters, then you wouldn't have known how to do any of this problem. The thing on the MCAS is there are some things that they tell you there's some information, like they'll tell you how many feet are in a mile, they'll tell you how many yards are in a mile, but they're not going to tell you how many milliliters are in a liter. This is something that you are expected to know. That's why I didn't tell you this in this problem. You'll notice that the one that we're doing for tomorrow, this one, I told you that two cups is a pint, two pints is a quart, and four quarts are in a gallon. I told you that because on MCAS, they're going to tell you that but they are not going to tell you how many milliliters are in a liter. That is something that you are expected to know at this age. All right, so that is what would have made this tricky. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward if you know this. And Jacob got this one right, so congratulations, Jacob. He knew that one liter was 1,000 milliliters. All right, guys, so good work on that. We will work on this one tomorrow. So I want you to try this now. This is going to be a little hard to compute, 6 and 2 thirds times 4 and 3 eighths. I need to check what do you know about the distributive property when it comes to multiplying mixed numbers. So that can be tricky, so don't be upset if you get these wrong, but we're going to go over these on Monday. Okay, hope everybody has a great weekend. Take care now. Bye-bye.